Hello everyone, how you doing there? I'm back with a new informative video from the same website named hansinclinic.com. In our previous video, we have discussed about pneumococcal pneumonia. That was the first video or first part of pneumonia. And today is the second video or second part of pneumonia which is staphylococcal pneumonia. And of course, this is our today's topic. Before we start our video, please make sure to like and subscribe my channel. By this way, you are supporting me. Now let's see what this website is telling us about staphylococcal pneumonia. It has two types. One is coagulase positive and second is coagulase negative. The agent for coagulase positive staphylococcal pneumonia is Staph aureus, which is common agent for coagulase positive staphylococcal pneumonia. But in 1 to 2 percent cases, they cause community acquired pneumonia. Otherwise, this agent always causes hospital acquired pneumonia. The risk factors for coagulase positive staphylococcal pneumonia is IV drug abuser. As we can see, this is in red color, so it should be the most important or most common risk factor for coagulase positive staphylococcal pneumonia. The next is post viral patient. Virus would be influenza virus. The second type is coagulase negative staphylococcal pneumonia. The agent for coagulase negative is staph epidermidis and staph saprophenicus. Most commonly, they cause hospital acquired pneumonia. The risk factors for coagulase negative staphylococcal pneumonia is methicillin resistant staph aureus patient and here is a note which is uh, which tells us all given below steps are same for both coagulase negative and positive sorry coagulase positive and negative staphylococcal pneumonia so let's see the clinical features for both coagulase positive and negative staphylococcal pneumonia first is high grade fever swinging with chills and rigors second is abscess formation next is dyspnea next is pleuritic chest pain this person forgot uh, to put t here so it is chest the next is frank pus in sputum now let's see general physical examination for both coagulase positive and coagulase negative staphylococcal pneumonia. The general physical examination we will find bronchial breathe and coarse crepitation. In investigation we will find raised WBCs. Investigation of choice would be sputum culture and alternative investigation would be blood culture in chest x-ray we will find bilateral cavitatory bronco pneumonia we can see here cavity and here we also see cavity here is cavity and cavity So let's see what is the treatment. The treatment for these both or you can say staphylococcal pneumonia, coagulase positive and coagulase negative for both. The treatment is methicillin or flucloxacillin. But if patient is resistant to methicillin, this kind of patient, we, uh, we call them MRSA patient. 
then treatment is vancomycin and lincomycin i will provide you the link for this article and the link for this website and the link for my previous video in the description below you just need to go to the description and if you will click the link then you will get to this website if you will click the link for this article you will get to this article directly or if you will uh, click the link for my previous video then you can see the pneumococcal pneumonia so it uh, so this was my today's video if you find this video helpful for you then please like share and subscribe my channel Thank you so much for your time, see you in the next video.